Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. A quick look at the ICM's uh, Spitfire 9 with, with a couple of little extra, um, <laughs> my type of Spitfire. It's got beer with it. Let's have a look. Okay lads, here's the, the Spitfire Mic 9C. This is the, um, uh, the beer delivery uh, truck, beer delivery uh, service. <laughs> RF provided at some point during the last war. Uh, this actually, the, the barrels have got the three crosses on, which would say to me that it could be <coughs> could be brandy rather than of lovely beer. But there you go, nice box art. Um, going over the coast somewhere. Uh, these <laughs> ISM boxes, although they are fantastic, they are a little bit tricky to get in. So what you get is the the top cover, which I'll just put that over there. So I know what I'm doing. And then you've got the box inside. So if we have the box open, uh, you'll see that we're jam-packed. Um, we are actually all obviously in one bag with the decals with the instructions. Now, a quick word on this. Um, as modders, obviously, we not we're not overly keen on the sprues being uh, all thrown into one bag unless you do it like ICM do which is in a smaller box tightly packed there's no sloshing around there so I'm um, hopefully there will be um, we'll have no broken parts like you do on like other manufacturers have bigger boxes so it look like you're getting more and all in one bag and it's slopping around you know what I'm talking about um, so then, if you're going to do it in one bag, lads, do it like ICM do, very nice too. And of course, not only that, you're cutting down on packaging, cutting down on waste and cost. Easy, isn't it? Anyway, so what we'll do, normally, what we'll normally do is debag all this lot and then we'll, and then we'll come back and have a look. Well, uh, instructions, we'll start with instructions first, I think, and then obviously there's the cover, the picture of the spit. A little bit of write-up, not a lot. Um, it's quite glossy with the call outs that we've got are in Revel and uh, Atimia, Atamia. Um, usual thing. Um, oh, there's the, uh, there's the decals. We'll put them just to one side for a sec. Obviously, I hope you can get all this in because the, the, the actual decal sheet, uh, sorry, the actual instruction sheet is quite big. Uh, if you can get all this in. Sprue tree on here, of course. Parts that we're not going to be needing and then straight in. Uh, on this one here, we're starting with the Merlin, so it looks like we're gonna get an engine. I'm not gonna go through every part, every individual um, uh, section of doing it, because there are, jumping forward, 65 or more, so I'm not gonna go through every one. But as you can see here, engines uh, can be put together, so there's an exposed engine, perhaps. Uh, maybe, I'll have to have a look on that one. Uh, uh, the engine bearers looks all pretty straightforward. Looks quite nice. Looks like we could have some nice detail in there. What's the cockpit looking like? Uh, oh, I see. It's like that. Then side walls look okay. It looks like we can have the the. Uh, looks like we're having the. Um, uh, we can remove the panels. Should you we want to do that, or should I want to do that? Looks stretchy. F I mean, Spitfires. <laughs> you could. Uh, you could probably build it without instructions if you're a Spitfire fan. Um, so that's all pretty straightforward. So the so the 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 seat and the instrument panel slot in from underneath. Um, so that's all ready. I mean, you can see yourself. It's all pretty straightforward. Looks like we can have the. Um, the cannons exposed. We'll have to see what detail these are like. Obviously, you can get the placement, I would have imagined. Um, wings going on. Then you've got uh, you've got uh, different canopies to go on. Obviously, one is going to be open. The one's going to be closed. Um, Tailplane. Uh, um, that's. This is where sometimes. Um, this could be moulding in one just to get rid of that seam. But you know, you could always, I suppose, have that open. 
uh, cannons going on on there and the prop is it spinning could be a spinning prop looks like it because I'm not gluing it and the carriage always a bit of a bugbear it for Spitfires getting that right and then on to the most important difference to what probably pretty standard um, Spitfire construction there's nothing there that's gonna leap out and go oh no it's pretty standard the only difference being is if you get an engine which you don't normally get and we've got some booze to go in so looking at this two different types of I don't know, one, uh, I'll have to have a look on that on the two different types of beer barrel then by looking at it <laughs> one's a bit more streamlined uh, I'm assuming that's an a uh, fuel tank which could be um, added instead of or even as well as instead of I've imagined uh, all oh right there you go look, there's the difference one or other no, I don't like that it looks so that's all pretty straightforward. There's nothing there that's going to leap out and go, oh no, that looks completely odd to the way you would normally build a Spitfire. So that's all pretty straightforward. Clear instructions, can't go wrong. Um, potentially you could leave off all this front 23 parts almost. If you didn't want to, we'll have to have a look at that, see whether you have to build the engine um, or whether you could get away with not, should you not want to open up the panels. So let's leap over to the colour call outs. It is the, the, the schemes, colour call outs, the schemes, there's two schemes. Um, one, f uh, a Canadian one from Tangmere, obviously D Day Stripes with the booze. Um, pretty standard uh, grey green with a medium sea grey underneath and then the other scheme is a, po a Polish one oh, it might be interesting uh, the difference being obviously one's Polish one's Canadian um, the stripes go top and bottom with the Canadian one and the Polish one it doesn't but obviously the colours will be the same um, yeah, I mean that looks quite nice. I like that picture. That looks lovely. Uh, it's pretty standard. Nothing that's going to catch you out. Um, let's go and have a look at the plastic. Actually, before we do, should we ought to have a look at the uh, the little um, little decal sheet that we get from ISM? Um, yeah, the colours look okay. I don't know why they're glaring out on you. No, I can't quite see. The colours look okay. It looks a little, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit thick, perhaps. Um, but they look like they'll be fine. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Um, might be worth in, if you wanted to be super serious probably might be worth in, uh, investing in a stencil set because you don't get many there's only a couple actually there wasn't that many on the Spitfire to start with was there but no that looks that's not too bad at all that Okay, we'll look at these as they come out of the bag. So this um, sprue is actually sprue A, happily. Uh, so it fits in quite nicely. Um, um, uh, well, yeah, it looks, it looks like a Spitfire fuselage. I took those right, yeah, absolutely. Here's the, here's the Merlin, it looks okay. Nothing special, but you know, it's, it just looks all right. got funny, funny smell to it um, a little texture to this a little you can hear that it's like a little faint texture doesn't bother me in the slightest 
might take paint a bit better. A tiny bit flashy. Uh, some bits and pieces of flash here and there, there, a bit on the top of the fin. So I'll look at the uh, blades for the prop. They could probably do with um, just feathering out a little bit of flash on there. Uh, but what's on the inside? Inside detail. Well, that's quite nice. Uh, that is um, injector pin right there, which is annoying. You can cut the panels should we want them. We'll have to have a look at that. I probably won't bother to be honest. Um, but that's quite a nice detail inside. That's going to take a wash nicely and some nice um, painting and a bit of dry brushing. Uh, that's annoying. Um, but that's not too bad at all, that one. So now if we check out the its sister sprue, or brother sprue if you like, um, more of the same. I'm just looking at this, I'm just going to point her, oops, I'm just going to point her. So this panel line here is fades away there. But that's it. <laughs> um, it looks all right. Again, that that's, my, that's funny because it doesn't feel as textured as the, as the other. There's a bit of a sink mark just there, which would be all this nonsense. A little bit of a sink mark. Um, again, on the inside, it's nice again. Nicely detailed, we can work with that. Definitely work with this. Uh, do you remove the door? Mm. Obviously you can cut the door off and have it open, should we require. So let's have a look at the instrument panel. Uh, oh, I can work with that, can't we? There is no um, instrument uh, decal sheet, which is, a, which is a bit of a shame because that would probably work quite nice. They're quite e uh, nicely raised, but you know, we can sort that out. We can, we can work with this quite easily. Nice detail on the firewall for the engine. Uh, the tires or the wheels, one piece. Um, obviously need cleaning up, you can see they're a bit flashy. Uh, what else we got here? They've got the instrument, instrument. The, the uh, uh, control column, that looks quite nice. And, well, that should be round. Uh, the seats, look at the seat, the seat, the seat, the seat. Yes, um, it's a bit lump of something on there. Uh, looks a bit agricultural, but we could probably work with that. That'd be okay as well. That's quite nice. Uh, these look like they're the cannons. They're a little bit. Uh, not a lot to them. Whether you'd have them open a lot, I don't know. It would be obviously it's up to me. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. That looks okay. Not too bad at all. So we go on to Spruce C. Uh, now, no prizes for guessing. <laughs> no prizes for guessing what uh, what these are. Uh, nicely detailed, fine line, fine panel lines. Um, there's the opening for the cannons. Where you have the opening or not, I don't know. There's not much detail inside the opening. You know, it, at least it's there. At least we'd probably need to open up the ejection ports. At least they've made the um, ISM blessing. Have made the the option that we can do that. Uh, I actually quite like this texture. Well, I quite like the plastic as well. Uh, not a lot to say on that really. Um, not much on the on the wheel bay. Uh, to be honest with you, not a lot to see on there, but it looks quite nice. That's quite a nice um, pair of wings. This is 
now sprue D. So we've got the, well, you can see what we've got here. We've got uh, two tail planes, obviously, uh, we had to use, we'll have to look in the instructions which ones we're going to be using. So that one, obviously, or that one. Um, a couple of different chins. To, this is the one that you've got. It looks like this in the instructions we've got to put together. Uh, there's no locating pins, so your short kit experience will need to come into play there. Uh, a couple of bombs that we're not going to be using. Um, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much for much there is a, some sort of um, uh, patent on these on the, uh, on the, on the horizontal st stabilizers but I mean that will disappear with um, primer and paint on to E Rear view mirrors I've just seen. <laughs> it's two different types. Probably used the round one, I think. Uh, bombs again that we're not going to be using. Uh, uh, machine guns we're not going to be using. I don't think because they were cannons, aren't they? Uh, different wing tips, obviously for different variants that they cut that they that they do. We're going to be. Uh, I can't remember which one it was now. That one I think. Uh, yeah, again, it's the same sort of texture. Panel linings uh, look okay. Um, not over, they're not overly deep like some manufacturers who will remain nameless. Uh, so that's a pretty boring sprue, but it's okay nonetheless. So this is the uh, this is the sprue that we're really interested in. This is. Going to be the beer barrels or the, the brandy barrels or whatever they are. Um, yes, liking that, that's quite nice. Nice detail. We can certainly um, bring our um, woodworking, <laughs> wood painting skills into this uh, quite nicely. So that's, that's the one that's going to make all the difference. Finally, we come to the uh, the glazing sprue or the clear sprue. Um, yeah, they're okay. Where the, it bends, where it's bending, the, the, the there's a bit of a wobble to it. Um, you you'd probably want to have the um, the canopy open. I think the flat part on the armored piece of glass is okay. Um, this rear piece is okay. Yeah, you probably want to keep them. <laughs> have, the, have the canopy open, I think, on that one. Okay, chaps, that concludes this little look at the this ICM spit. Now back to me for a little uh, debrief. Well, in my opinion, uh, guys, I think that's a very nice little Mark IX uh, Spitfire. Um, nicely detailed, a um, little bit flashy, I guess, but not really. Nothing that we can't cope with being. Uh, model modelers slash assemblers. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's got some obviously the beer barrels, which is which is make stands this this kit out from um, from any other you can get really. I suppose none of them come with the with the beer barrels. Um, and I think it quite it will build up into quite a nice little uh, nice little spit. Another one for the collection. If we haven't got enough already, I see one to yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> Always got room for another Spitfire, I think. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Valeria at ICM. I hope I spoke your name, uh, said your name right now, uh, for sending this over to me to have a look at. Um, we probably might be starting building it uh, soon. Depends how we get on. We've just finished the Sea King, of course, and, uh, and I've got a bit of stuff on uh, through British Aviation to. Um, to tidy up so we will see how far we get on 
um, but it's um, but look out for this it, it might be built a relatively uh, sharpish okay that's it guys carry on with the rest of your day uh, happy modeling and i will see you soon see you later